Gemini, welcome to your November 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we do here, we will um, divide the reading into sections slightly <clears throat> so it's easier to make sense. So we will look at the overall energy for the months of November 2022 for the sign of Gemini, before we then look at your emotional core, see if love is coming in, um, trauma can go, that sort of stuff, before we then finally look at um, your um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of November. And for the most part, this will be about what sustains you financially, but then again, I only work here, every now and then the guides throw a proper curveball. So we'll see what they have to say, and we just go with it. Okay. So the first thing, first things first, when it comes to the overall energy, you have the coyote and you have what is known as animal deities. Now I work with, with uh, spirit animal guides and each of these animal guides here that show up are called deities and you have the plural of it. So what the guides are saying is first and foremost for Gemini, this is a month where your ancestors are around you big time, really, really important to understand that, and all your spiritual relations are showing up as well. And because, uh, or the importance here is that you have the coyote. And the coyote is known as an animal that, that sort of can transform itself. Because the coyote um, is an animal that sort of knows, no matter where I go, there's always food for me. So the point or the, or the message here for you is, while energetically speaking, you obviously feel a little lost or maybe a little alone, which is why you have all your ancestors around you and they're highlighting this here. It's for you to realize that no matter what happens in life, you will be looked after. It's just a matter of understanding that, um, you know, you're not as alone as you feel. And the coyote is saying to you, I'm a scavenger. No matter where I go, someone will drop some food. And this is sort of the energy and the attitude that they want you to literally adopt. Okay, have a bit more faith um, in how things play out. Okay, and then you, uh, um, when it comes to your emotions, um, it's just the way they show it to me. You have the tiger, and the tiger is all about primal power, right? I always say that if the if the the tiger lived where the lion lives, the lion would not be the king of the jungle. In other words, um, when it comes to your emotional core, um, claim what you want. Make the first step. If you are stuck in a relationship, then say something. Bring it to a new level. If things fall apart, remember how much stamina you have. You will get through this. If you want to manifest, don't just wait and hope that someone texts you, that you meet someone by chance. Go out, have fun, um, you know, and um, things may happen that way. It's quite important because the tiger is, is a, is a no-nonsense energy. Uh, and when it comes to, to being fulfilled romantically um, and, and emotionally, um, it's understanding that there's a part of you that has to claim what you want in order to actually get what you want. Okay. And then lastly, the um, opportunities that come to you this month are interesting because you have the hawk. Now the hawk uses the upthrust of the air to glide. So what the, what the universe is saying to you is, there may not be that many opportunities um, and you should just go with the flow. It feels to me that if you are in a position where you feel like, okay, um, you know, you think it all out. And so when this happens and I do this and then I get this, um, it may not work that way when you plan it out all too much. Um, so the point here is with the hawk, don't chase anything. Things will more or less fall into place. It's just a matter of understanding that timing cannot be um, tweaked necessarily. Um, and you just need to go with the flow when it comes to opportunities. Okie dokie, that was short and sweet. That's all we got for the month of November for the sign of Gemini. Please like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you all next month. Bye bye.